A pet is part of the family for many of us, so imagine discovering someone shot and killed your dog. It's a reality tonight for one Groves family after police found their dog in a ditch. Fox 4's Haley Bull talks with a family member and a man who saw the dog and tried to help. One hour after the shooting, this blood-stained grass is the only evidence someone killed a dog. I heard like a pop, but it didn't really register to me. James Baird heard a single gunshot at about 11 Thursday morning. I heard seeing a dog running from around the corner of a house, howling real bad with his, his rear end tucked down, tail tucked. Baird was driving down Washington Street in Groves. As I kept coming down the road and I seen the dog fall over on the side of the road. He told officers what he saw. By the time Groves police got to the neighborhood, the dog had died. An animal control officer took away the body. It really hurt my heart because I got four myself and I'd be devastated. Just... You know, they like my babies. The dog died just on the other side of the fence where the owners live. It's a good dog. He's never hurt anybody. You know, he didn't deserve anything like that. Tracy Mooney learned a dog had been shot in her neighborhood. She was on the way to animal control to see if it was her dog, Monster. Her mother kept this picture of the dog on her cell phone. She showed it to the witness. And he looked at it. their dog. He knew it was monster. It's inhumane. Like, they can't defend themselves. You know, there's nothing they can do. A one year old dog that had become a part of the family. In Groves, Haley Bull, Fox 4 News. Investigators say the person who shot the dog will face charges. A family member told us they're offering a $500 reward to find the person who killed their dog.